Today we're going to make biscuit turnovers. My apologies, these turned out the first time tasting great but not looking great. So I went back through and made them again. Didn't do a video on them, but they turned out really nice. So my apologies on the way they look, but they taste terrific. So these are the ingredients we're going to use. We're going to use the Grand's Biscuit again. Do not get the flaky. I'm going to make some with some apple pie filling and strawberry pie filling. We need some powdered sugar to make the glaze. And these are my little calzone maker things, I call them. I'll put a link in the description for them. They work out really well. You need a rolling pin and a little bit of water for the glaze. I'll put a link in the description on my previous video of the biscuit donuts and how to make the glaze in there. It's really simple. So we need to roll out the biscuits just a little bigger than the ring that comes with this. You could do this by hand. Like I said, these things are pretty cheap. You can get them right off Amazon. That's where I've got them. The problem with the biscuits is as you cut them, they're the perfect size. And as soon as you peel them up, they shrink. Kind of weird. I think I'm going to find something better to make them out of. Like maybe a pie filling or something that won't change sizes on me. But these do taste really well this way. And again, you can do them by hand. So I decided I would make the apple one first. Again, I just use the canned pie filling. Probably put a little too much in there. I just show, wanted to show you what these things looked like. I use them now for making calzones too, and they work really well for that. Didn't quite close up like I would like it to. Again, I made the second one. It cut it perfect, but again, as soon as I peel it off the cutting board, it shrinks. Then you don't have the extra space on the little calzone maker that you need. You need it over the edges of the those serrated edges on here. So this one turned out a little better. So then I was working on my third one. Tried to make it even a little bigger so that the shrinkage would come back to the size I needed. Stretch it out a little bit. I made some calzones with these last night. They worked out really well. I don't know why I was having a problem with the sizing on these. So I put the cherry pie filling in. Tried to stretch it a little farther again. Close this one up. And this one turned out pretty good. So it might have just been me getting the hang of this new tool. So then made the last one. So, they're not bad, but again, it's the taste we're looking for. So, we put it in the oven 
at 325 degrees for about 12 or 13 minutes. Same directions that are on the can of the biscuits. The red one kind of exploded, but to me it tasted the best. So next I sprinkled just a little plain sugar across the top of it. Then I took my sugar mix that I made. Again, I'll put a link in the description of the video on how to do this. It was in last week's video where we made the donut biscuits. And just drizzled across the top. Like I said, they turned out really well as far as the taste. They were a little messy, but I'll make them better. So now, we're back to the free giveaway. This is my birthday month, but I'm going to give you all the present. I'm going to buy this plaque. If I had to stir it, it's homemade. All you have to do is you have to be a subscriber to the channel. And in this season, which is season one's episode 30 through 34, you can make a comment in each one of those videos if you want. And I'm going to take each one of those names. And if you've commented in four, I'm going to take your name four times, put them all under the hat. And I'm going to give one of these away to somebody. No cost, no nothing. I'm just going to ship it off to you. And now for the rating system. We have four categories, one being a lazy chef, five being a full home chef for a total of up to 20 points. Prep time, it's a one. It's pretty simple. Number of ingredients, it's a one. It's biscuit dough and some pie filling. Unique ingredients, it's a one X. You might have all this stuff in your cabinet. Unique equipment, I'm going to give that a 2X. It's only a 2X if you're going to use the tool I have. If not, you can do them by hand. For a total of 5X. If you could, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. Make sure to click the bell so you get notified every Thursday at noon when we have a new recipe come out. Let me know if you try it. Thanks.